go. Oh my god, the transponster. Maybe this hole is where the control panel goes. Well, there's only one way to find out in the ago. Dude, you did it! Everything looks alright. Okay, but what do we do now? Why don't we press the, press the button next to it? The the orange one? Yeah. All right, I'll do that. I'm making up for lost time. All this clipping, what clipping? Oh man, I'm excited to see these because uh, this is one of my favorite. This is is my favorite series of all time, and the second game is wild. Um, all right, I'll do it. We're going for all the endings though, so just so you know, we're playing until an ending today, and then we're gonna end the stream there. But uh, pushing. Sweet, all sorts of lights are lighting up on this thing. That's going to be useful. Thank you, script. Oh, yes. I think I just heard something turn on. I want you to know I've played this game before. Like, I know. I know everything that happens in this game. I know the puzzles by heart. This is chat guided so that chat and people in the post will get to experience this game because this is part of Secret Project. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they will be added to something. I will be using these. The clips will be used for some stuff. Do not worry. Clips will be used for Secret Project. That is not a concern. Oh? What's that? What's happened? Junpei, look, the conveyor belt is moving. The conveyor belt? Well, I guess it's done moving now. There's still a bunch of coal on the belt, though. Looks like a bunch of it got dumped off the end of the belt into that wooden box where we found the control panel. Coal? Coal, huh? There's a hole at? Let's just cook coal in the furnace. Maybe if we get some coal in there and set it on fire. I still can't believe June outed Junpei like that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Man, wait till you get the... There's some good reveals in this series. Um. Like the reveal that uh, it's it was... Uh, it's not butter. Yeah, no code name for Jumpy. He doesn't get one. All right, that's the last of it. No coal left in the wooden box. And nothing. Great. Well, I guess we should have expected that. Why well, would just throwing some coal in a cold furnace do anything? Oh, well, an anchor dream. June, play. Explain it to me again. You're planning to stoke the furnace with the flame, with the coal, which will heat the water in there and make steam, which will drive something else. Am I correct? In other words, you're going to generate enough pressure the steam to power the turbine. And drive the steam engine, right? Uh, I, uh, guess? Well, in that case, isn't this enough coal? The furnace is enormous. We're going to need a whole hell of a lot more coal than this. Very well, then if the three of us work, to, we should be able to manage to fill it much faster. I want to help, too. See, she's not dead, script. Uh, fuck, fuck. She's not dead. He's living. She's not dead. I'm sorry, buddy. Like, clearly not dead. Like, I don't know how more alive you could be. Uh, I want to help, too. Man, I, I totally didn't expect her to walk up. Are you feeling up to that? Yes. Yeah, right. You look like you're one stiff breeze away from falling over, June. I think you better rest some more, alright? But... No arguing. You need your rest, so just stay there and we'll handle this. Okay, I understand. Alright, time for some man work! Let's get this coal into those furnaces! Um... Do I make a joke here? Do I go for the, the yoke? Do we go for the yoke, y'all? Give me a second. Should we go for the yoke? I think you always gotta go for the yoke, right? The egg yolk. Oh. Give me one second here. Um, let's get this set up. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> they just fill in the coal. Wait, what do I have? What's happening? I built the game! No! no! I built it! Oh, we just got a light in it! Jumpy! Hand me your matches! Oh my god, that's like the funniest thing I think of all time, is just doing that. Oh my god, I hope I don't get copyrighted for that, please. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get kicked off of Twitch. <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked off of Twitch, they're gonna send Twitch police after me. The Twitch FBI. <laughs> what makes you think I have matches? I see. Then how are we gonna light it? Perhaps there's a device nearby that'll let us remotely ignite the coal. Let's take a look, shall we? Some sort of ignition device? I got you, Bobby. Thank you. Wench. Do you think it's made of pure silver? Oh my god, I'm excited for that. Silver is too soft to use for a gear. It's gotta be steel or an iron gear that's coated with silver. Uh, shouldn't you have called it a silver gear then? Shouldn't have got your hopes up. We're here. Do you think we'd haul this thing back? No, I think Seven could carry it though, don't you? The slider is locked in place. It won't move. Is this. I think it might be, it probably is. Is this what we might need to ignite the furnace? That means if we move the thing down. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Hey, Junpei, Ace, look at this. There's the big gears turning under the boiler here. The gears, they're spinning. What the hell are you guys waiting for? Let's start looking. We got the gold disc. This is where the coal goes. Let's go. We got the bronze disc. And we got the silver disc. Um, look, Ace, it's some kind of weird snowman secret meeting. Oh, those are bags full of sand. You just use them as a counterweight when you're lifting something with a pulley system. Man, you're too serious. There's a pair of wooden boxes here. There's uh, nothing in them. It looks like this thing unlocks the door. There's a depression here that looks like the outline of three circles. Yeah, fuck, tell me about it. There's a depression here, too. Fucking killing it today! Uh, it's an outline for three circles laying on top of uh, the triangle. Maybe. Maybe if we put these three discs in, we found into this thing. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's stick them in. Huh? That's odd. Nothing's happening. Maybe you're, I don't know, stupid? Putting them in the wrong place? Perhaps you have to face the wrong directions? Perhaps you should rotate the discs to make some of the lines connect to one another. Oh. oh, well, no harm in trying. Oh, we're skipping all of this. I know. Okay. There we go! Boom! The red lines of the discs! I think maybe we could start polygon with these. Are you ready, script? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain! We found it! Um. Yes, the door is open! <laughs> hmm. 
Given the circumstances, Junpei's happiness was certainly understandable. Ace seemed to be sharing the same. Oh, I can use my controller again. Let's fucking go into the novel section. <clears throat> All right, Junpei. Why don't we get June now? Santa and I will keep an eye on the store. Santa snorted. But why do we need to do that? Even if it shuts, we know how to solve the puzzle now. We can just open it again. Well, I suppose that's true. Shut all three of us and collect... Should all three of us go collect June, then? Nah, I'm cool. I'll let Junpei handle it. He still seemed irritated, however, and just sat down on the stairs perpetually. Potentially. So are you only interested in being contradictory? Ace sighed a have long suffering parent with the long of a Ace let out a long sigh. Alright, I'll go with June. I'll be back. He gave a quick nod to Ace and Santa and dashed towards the stairs. Before long, he was back on the first floor, next to the conveyor belt, and June. As he drew closer, she stood up slowly. Are you okay? He did his best to sound calm and nonchalant, but there was no hiding his genuine concern in his voice. Yes. I'm fine now. I'm sorry I made you worry. June blushed. He wasn't sure if she was embarrassed or still feverish. Just to make sure, he reached out and put his hand against her forehead. Good. You're, you're feeling a lot better. She was feeling far less warm as she had earlier, but she still wasn't down to what seemed normal to him. Are you sure you're alright? The fuck was that? He had to be sure. June gave him a look. Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. Oops. I mean, worrier. Hee <laughs> hee. June giggled. He wasn't sure if she just made a joke or not, but seeing her smile again made June Bay feel at ease. It was well enough to see her smile and see her really feeling much better. He gave her a friendly poke on the forehead. Let's go. But go where? Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you. Um, we got the exit open, so... Great, let's go. June clapped her hands and nodded urgently. Yeah. As they walked back towards the exit, Junpei noticed Santa sitting on the stairs. He was, however, holding something in his right hand, staring at it with a strange expression. What is he holding? We'll find out in a minute. I have to go to the washroom real quick. Give me one second. We are going to save here. Get a little bit of info on Santa. Um, it's a picture of Mrs. Claus. Just uh, calling it now. It's uh, Mrs. Claus's... Um, it's, 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 it's Mrs. Claus. I'll be honest. It's Mrs. Claus. I'm joking around. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you will eventually find out. By the end of the entire series. Like I think you find out in this game. Just one sec. Oh, yeah, wait, I gotta need my mic. Fucking hello? Fucking might be! He might be! The pic he took at the last Xmas party might be! But, uh, in all seriousness, what is he looking at? We'll find out right now. Junpei and June slowed down and finally stopped in front of him. Say it loud for the clip. Nah, I know what it is, so it's not... What are you looking at? Santa answered without looking up, his voice quiet. Are you ready? I gotta, I gotta get the, uh, I gotta, I gotta, I know what he says. Uh, just give me one second here. Um, so, uh, are you ready, script? It's free real estate. But in all seriousness... Looking up, his voice was quiet. Oh, I didn't. Welcome to the ASMR podcast. 
Um, would you like some ASMR? Here we go. I'm going to do some ASMR for you here. On stream. Let's see if this will work. Here's my ASMR. You know what? Let's get ready to clip this here while we get ready. Um, script, you might want to, if you want to clip any of this, you can. Um, here's my ASMR stream, everyone. Um, that's dice rolling. Are you ready for this? Hey, you get a hero point. That's a good one. That's a good clip. Um, Ryan, that, that's going to traumatize Ryan. Hey, you get a hero point. That's going to be a good clip in post. Uh, 225. Where's my notes? I literally... 225, done deal. Uh, did I have any ASMR left that I can do? Um, no. That's the ASMR stream. Hope you all enjoyed it. Would you like to quit? No. Am I big on Twitch now? Does that make me officially Mr. Twitch? Have I made it? Am I, am I one of those e-girls? Am I the most popular e-girl now? Am I the most popular e lobby? Am I am I the e am I am I e Bobby? Am I baby? Bobby is best waifu? God, what are you looking at? Santa answered quietly without looking up. Photo. It's my sister. Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Santa simply nodded. Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. June cocked her head, confused. She was only about an inch tall. She, she was only about an inch tall then? Santa glared at her. Ah, um, sorry. I, I guess... I guess an inch is a little big for a button. Man, June's fucking trying her fucking best. She's trying so hard and she's getting so far. And in the end, it doesn't even matter. Probably more like an inch. Santa didn't smile or laugh. He simply turned back the picture and spoke. It was Santa. I was her Santa Claus. This sudden revelation took Junpei for surprise, surprise. Hey, Script, are you ready for Santa's tragic fucking backstory? Are you literally ready? Are you ready? He had no idea what Santa meant. He glanced at June, who shook her head. She didn't know either. You ever heard of the story of the two Santa Clauses? It goes that a long time ago, there were two Santas. One of them wore white, and the other one wore black. White Santa gave up presents to the good kids. Hmm. Hmm. While the Santa wearing black played tricks on bad kids. They went on like that for a while, but eventually this Santa wearing black's tricks started to get worse and worse. Pretty soon, the, the Santa dressed in white couldn't stand it anymore, and he When people ask you if they're fine, and you're not fine, and you just have to say you're fine, and... And he stabbed the Santa wearing black to death! Excuse me? When he stabbed the other Santa, the white Santa got blood spilled all over his clothes? That's when, these days, his clothes are red. You could say the red is what's left of the Santa in black. Junpei was silent. He could think of nothing to say. June was staring at Santa, sadness playing on her face. He continued. I wonder which Santa I am. 
fucking dark and edgy brooding. The white Santa. Or. Him. Alright, let's go. Santa stood up, his downcast demeanor gone. <laughs> Shoved the picture back in his pocket, headed up on the stairs, taking them step two at a time. June Bay and June looked at one another. There was nothing they could think to say. Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get moving. Come on. Santa's voice echoed across the room above them. They nodded and followed him quickly up the stairs. Ace was waiting for them at the top. He leaned against the hand rail. He looked very tired. The door had shut, but he wasn't cause for concern. Junbei quickly solved the disc puzzle in a second time, and the door opened once more. In a single file, they walked through. After walking for nearly 15 feet, they found themselves in front of a metal door. It opened easily enough, and they passed through it as well. A new room stretched out before them. Is this a warehouse? Another clip coming. No, I believe this is a cargo room. Yeah, cargo room, more like. Nah, 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 nah. Um, this must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. June Pay Ace and June stopped, unconsciously pausing to take in their new surroundings. Sound surroundings. Santa's voice broke through their momentary trance. Well, we probably ought to start finding the exit, right? Uh, let's get going. Oh my god. We need to seek a way out. Um, let's see what we can do here. We're in the cargo room. Uh, let me get up close here. There are a bunch of bags here. I wonder what's in them. Card with a headshot. Y'all recognize him? What's that? It's a card. It has the headshot on it. Uh, headshot? Yeah. I'm not really sure what purpose this could possibly serve. Save soon. Santa! Seven. We've searched all the boxes. There's nothing in them. A new Game of Thrones? Oh, no. Uh, June or Iconic or Ashiki, technically. Because um, we know her name, and we also know that Junpei's name is Junpei. It's all of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's not all of them. These stairs, they go up three stories. What are you waiting for, Junpei? Whatever, I'm going. We're missing a couple. Barrels. I don't know what's in these barrels. Judging by the way, probably liquid of some sort. Small box with a lid on it. There we go. There's aces. Scrapes are quite large and I'm tied to them with 33 straps. These are three crates here stacked up like stairs. We would climb them. I think we can get down on the side of the fence. Chumi, you think you can go take a look at that? Sorry, uh, no. Why? I've uh, got a bad feeling about it. Okay, fine. I'll go. Please be careful, Santa. Yeah, but just in case. Wait, what's he gonna do with that screw? I didn't see... I don't see what throwing a screw at the fence is. Holy shit! This... Oh, man. There's an electric fence running... There's an electric current running through the fence. 
Looks like it. Then we can't get to the other side? Well, we could jump off those crates, but we wouldn't be able to get back. Hmm. There's a tall fence surrounding the part of the cargo room. Ba -ba 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 we need to get the last piece. So. No, we don't need it. It's the only door here except for the one we just came in through. Looks like the exit. No shit, it's locked. Come on, of course it's locked. Is there an electronic lock? Nope, a keyhole right under the doorknob. So to open this door, we've got to find the key that fits this keyhole. Yeah. Um, the monitor's off. I've got a green. It's got a green switch and a red here. Some kind of lever. I don't seem to do anything though. Maybe the power's off. Yeah, maybe. There's a single green light on the bottom though. That means. We got a control panel. Let's go ahead here. Green light switch on the bottom. There are several light switches with numbers one through nine. Only light with nine is on. Okay. It looks like it's a covering something. Looks like some kind of little shutter. Maybe it'll open if we do something. What's got to come out these doors? Do we? Uh, well, there's six holes here. It looks like they're jacks or headphones or something. Jacks? Maybe if we put something in them. Yeah, something might happen. Um, what am I missing? There's nothing in it. Alright. These crates are a little smaller than the others. Yeah, they look like they're children crates. I don't know, man. I've never heard of a fairy tale about how crates. How would crates reproduce? That doesn't sound like a fairy tale to me. Um, let's examine these boxes. It's locked. We need a key. All right, the boxes have a number on them. Uh, do they? Oh, he's been down and picked up something that had been sitting next to the box. Junpei, take a look at this. Cards. There we go. We got all nine. Let's fucking go. <laughs> they had finally collected all nine picture cards all that remained was to insert the cards into the slots at the front of the box Junpei started her cards in his hands Ace peeled over the Ace peered over his shoulder at him you know which card goes into which box, yes? Junpei gave him a look. Um, yeah. Of course I do, it's pretty obvious. You just match the numbers to the numbers on the boxes. For instance, a card with a picture of Ace goes in box one. The card with a picture of State goes in box two. Oh, I see. Junpei thought he might have imagined it, but he could have swore he saw Ace stiffen. I'll leave the rest of you. That protagonist energy, though, eh? He quickly turned and walked away. Strange, Junpei thought. Oh, well. Oh, well. Fucking protagonist energy. Doing the best to clear his mind for the task ahead, he turned back toward the boxes. It was time to solve the puzzle. Nine cards with pictures and nine boxes. How hard could it fucking be? Junpei stared at them for a moment and then began. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, so it's not even prompting me. <laughs> oh, Ace's card went into box number one. Then Snake's went into box number two. Santa's in the number three. Clover's in the number four. Junpei's in the number five. June's in the number six. Seven's in the seven. Lotus is in the eight. And... Finally, the ninth man's into number nine. As soon as he inserted all the cards, all nine box lids popped open at once. He peered inside. In each box was a single pin. They looked like sewing pins, but much thicker. Junpei collected them and shoved them in his pocket. Nine pins! We've got nine pins! 
Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, the ones you find in the nine boxes, right? Why don't you try and put the pins in? All right. Well, let's see what happens. I think two, four, and six should go on the top part, and three, five, and seven should go on the bottom. Well, some of it lit up. Yeah, the three and the six. I wonder if there's some kind of rule that determines which lights go on. Well, I put it the two and four and six pins, three, five, and seven on the bottom. Huh. You think you think maybe it's like digital root like the rest of this game? The digital root? Oh my god, math? Therefore, light turns on. Math. And therefore, light turns on. I see. The lights match the digital root of the pins. Uh, insert it on the top and lower part, light it up. So that's how it works. Well, there's one other thing I'd like to check. Well, if he wants to try, they're certainly welcome to. So he put in one, three, and three pins on the top, and three, six, and seven pins on the bottom. Oh. Yeah, they turned off. 21, 3, and therefore light 3 turns off. 6, therefore light 6 turns off. Thanks for resetting my progress. Oh, I get it now. If the digital root is the same as the number that's lit up, it turns off. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, now you know how it works. You should probably give it a try. Wait, you mean you know what we're supposed to do with these lights? Uh, no, but we should try and turn them on. Something's gotta happen if we manage that. Turn on the lights, huh? Okay, Junpei! Make sure you know how this works, alright? Pick one of the six holes. Literally, I know how this works, okay. One. Oh. Okay. Nine. Um. Uh, nine. Four, one. Five, seven. Five, seven equals twelve. Three plus two. What? Three, two, nine. Eight, one, four. Three, two, nine, one. I have to make a two. Eight plus seven equals fifteen plus four. Five. We did it. Easy puzzle. F. The lights are on. The shutter's open now. Hey, what does this mean? Oh, yeah. We got to do it again. Man, I thought it was doing so well. Okay, so we've got nine holes, and there's an F above them. I don't know what F the F means. I don't know what the F the F means. But I do know one thing. What's that? This time, there's nine holes. So we need to insert nine pins. Man, that's boring. Why don't you just try it, alright? Um, okay. Um, four and eight make twelve. Twelve plus... Twelve plus six, six. Um, four, 
Oh, 15. I'm a dummy. Yeah, base 10 and uh, 15. Yeah, that's got to be it. All right, let's give this a shot. One more shot. I'm so stupid. Uh, it's got to be 15. Five needs to be in the mandal then. Uh, we need to get 10s. Um... I can equal out. Uh, it's not going to equal. It's not going to work. This will work, though. I'm close. Um. Oh, those don't equal out. Yeah. I can look up the puzzle solution. I'm fucking stupid. Okay. Let's go! Ugh. Oh, the lights lit up! We did it! The power's on! It looks like there's electricity going to the monitor on top now. All right, let's see if we can activate the device on up. A green button and a red button and a lever. Wonder what these things do. I think this might help. What the hell is this? Where did he find this? We're going to be skipping over this in a second here. Let me go ahead here and uh, get that ready. What is this? Where did you find it? I found it when you were messing around with the pinholes. Looks like instructions for this thing. According to what it says here, the thing's a remote control for that. 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 He's pointing to, oh, that machine over there. Apparently it's called the Pushmaster 5000. Are you serious? Whatever, man. Uh, so we're supposed to do with this Pushmaster. Uh, you see that coffin on top of the crates? Yeah. Don't you want to know what the deal is with it? I do. Why don't you check it out? Yeah. All right, so how do you think we're going to get there? Well, we're going to have some crates. We're going to have to move some crates on the fence that are piled up like stairs. Maybe make a path to the coffin there. How would we do that? Line up the crates, I guess. Yeah, sounds about right. I guess this is just another of Zero's puzzles. Yeah. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Oh, looks like a Pushmaster 5000 runs off a of battery. So to keep it from using too much energy too fast, it's a program so that it'll only start moving once its path has been completely entered. All right. I'll keep that in mind. New material has been added. There we go. Well, the monitor shows a top down view of the area where the machine. Uh, I can put my orders into the Pushmaster. I just pulled the lever. Uh, yeah, I want to. Once I put my orders to the Pushmaster, I just pull the lever. Is this the reset button that allows me to start over? Once I activate the program, I just push the lever. All right, let's give this a try. Sure thing. Just keep in mind, there's only a limit on the battery, all right? The battery dies after 50 moves. But at least that's what it says in the manual. 50 moves, huh? Also, keep in mind, the Pushmaster can't move heavy metal crates, okay? Got it. Instructions. Hello? Okay. I literally don't know what I'm doing.
I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. Uh, there's no easy way to do this. Uh, I'm going to be struggling with this for a few minutes here. Um... I'm an idiot. There's no way to get that one in. I'm an idiot again. I'm so close to. I don't need the instructions. Oh yeah, they give me additional moves after a while. I'm putting in the program. What do I do next? Just be quiet and watch. See, it's moving already. Oh. Awesome. The Push Master 5000 did what it said it would do. Great. Now we can reach the coffin. We just need to climb, climb those crates over the fence. So let's go ahead and climb those crates. Go on over and enter the coffin. They walked slowly past the row of crates until they came to the coffin. They stopped and nobody no nodded to one another and Junpei put his hand on the lid of the coffin. He smirked heartily at his own joke. Junpei grumbled and shook his head. Whatever, just open it. Junpei resisted the urge to remind Santa that he would have that he would have had it open a long time ago if Santa hadn't interrupted, and he threw the lid off the coffin. They peered inside. Contrary to what they'd expected, the inside of the coffin was quite large. It was mostly empty, but not completely so. Laying on the bottom was a rusty key. And next to the key... It, it's a gun! Yeah. A uh, revolver. It looks pretty old. I wonder if it's a replica. Junpei reached down slowly, cautiously, picking up the revolver. It felt heavy in his hand. He checked the cylinder. There were nine. There were six bullets, not nine. Imagine there were nine. He'd never seen a real gun or a real bullet before. He couldn't tell if this was real or not. The barrel was rifled, and nothing seemed to be blocking it. As Ace had said, this gun was a very old one. However, it appeared to have been well maintained. If it was a real gun, Junbei thought it most likely would function perfectly. 
if it was real. Holding the gun made Junpei feel uneasy. Carefully, he placed it back on the coffin. You're not going to take it? Of course not. All something like this is going to do is cause more trouble. It's a powerful weapon that gives one person a huge advantage. Something like this would be too, way too dangerous to have around. We're in enough danger already. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Maybe. M maybe Zero put this gun here hoping something like that might happen. I in other words, m maybe he put it here to make us fight each other. In that case, we should most certainly leave it here. I, for one, have no desire to let Zero control me. The others nodded. They had no desire to be under Zero's control either. Well, now that we've got that figured out, why well, are you going to leave the key there too? Yeah, yeah, of course I'm not. Junpei picked up the rusty key and slid it back on, and slid the lid back on top of the coffin, the gun back to where they had found it. Let's just put this key in here and yes! Sounds like it did it. Yay! <laughs> Yay, looks like it's open, Jumpy. I see. This key should open the door. Yeah, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Yes! It's opening! You found it! We found it, everyone! With that, the hallway that left the cargo room headed straight toward the stern. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like, follow, and subscribe. Check us out on other social medias linked in the description. Bye now!